Hi everybody, it's Eileen. It is New Year's Eve, 2.41 p.m. here in South Cali. And this vlog is for day nine and day 10 of phase three. I didn't vlog yesterday, it was so busy. I was supposed to give you an update on my steak day. So here it goes. Let me take you back a little bit. Two days ago, I weighed 134.2, which is four pounds over LDW. It was slowly creeping up, right, in three days. And I had weighed myself early that morning. And then remember, I had, like, my Senna tea had kicked in from the night before. So I had a bowel movement. And then I weighed myself immediately after that, and I weighed 133.2. So I had already lost a pound in that little time period. So that was good because uh, then when I did my steak day, I wouldn't have to lose that much more. So 133.2 put me three pounds over LDW. Then I had the steak day. I had a great steak. I went to a place called Yard House, which is... Over here in SoCal, I, I don't know where else they have them, but um, they have a great menu. Had a great ribeye steak. And the next day, I had lost 2.4 pounds from the 133 weight. That's after the BM. But 3.4 pounds if you want to count the weight, the initial weigh-in. So that was good because then that put me at... 0.6 over LDW. And I want to thank you for all your encouragement on that. The clinic emailed me because they watch my vlogs and did this to me, <laughs> which which I do need um, now and then. So that was cool. And I was really happy, though, that the steak day worked. So then I did well that whole day and then I was gonna go to I decided I don't I don't need to do another steak day because I'm already 0.6 I'm only 0.6 over so I did well all day and I was going to a fine dining place that night going out to dinner with friends and I right before dinner I had a handful of mac nuts and almonds so I wouldn't order anything crazy when I got there and I realized that even at fine dining places, they have a supersize menu. <laughs> and they hide it. It's not called supersize. It's called, and you people who go out to dinner a lot, prefix menu. Meaning, if you were going to, well, if you don't know what a prefix is, it's basically for one low price of whatever, $40 or whatever, you get a three course dinner and you just get to pick from the prefix menu I was thinking to myself when I got to that place before I saw the menu I was not going to order a dessert and that was that but there was the prefix menu and my husband's like well let's just order from the prefix menu because then you get three courses for 40 bucks of course you're not thinking you know that's not the point of the whole dinner the point of the or the dinner or your diet during a dinner like that is to not order three courses no matter how much money it's going to save you. Of course, I wasn't thinking that way because we were like in the heat of the moment. Um, so I ordered the prefix and I had to pick one of the desserts and I picked cheesecake because it didn't hurt me that much before. So I picked that in and I told myself I wasn't going to eat the whole thing anyways. What did I have? I had duck. And that was great. I didn't drink any alcohol. I drank tea the whole time. And then my appetizer was a salad. And I got to the cheesecake. And it wasn't, it was kind of, it was a fluffy cheesecake. So it was light. It wasn't like the Costco one, which was pretty dense, but it wasn't as thick. So this was a light one, but it was thick like that. And basically I ate like the cheese part because there was a crust that went all the way around it. And I ate the cheese part. And I know there's sugar in there, but I ate it. Anyways. And for those of you who are on Facebook, I took a picture of something that I had never seen before. And I posted it. It was a fine dining restaurant, okay? And 
they had this. Isn't that cool? Um, I was really surprised, and I asked the waitress about it, and she was like, oh, yeah, my boss, he's really, he was really excited to see that now they're distributing packets of stevia for restaurants. So that's pretty cool, but I thought, you know, leave it to Orange County to have stevia at their restaurants. I thought that was cool, and maybe now it'll be um, widely used just in the regular market, you know, regular fast food places or whatever, <laughs> which would totally be opposite. Like, if you are a Stevia user, why would you be at Burger King, you know? But anyways, it'll help. Anything helps. So I was kind of happy about that. So today I weighed in, and I was one... Okay, my LDW is 130.2. And I weighed in, and I was... 132.6 and I was like 2.4 over LDW again you know and then like as soon as I got off the scale my stomach started rumbling this is the morning okay so the morning before I had weighed myself the second time at about 1040 something like that and so I, I used the bathroom this was like at 8 no it was at like at 930 I had a coffee first, and then that made me, that stimulated my bowels or whatever, so I used the bathroom. And after the bathroom, weighed myself again, just to see, and I was at 131.8. Wait, no, 131.6. So I lost another pound, which is kind of funny. So that put me within 1.4. Wait, is that right? 1.6 over LDW. So, I'm going to stay with that weight. Since it was actually at the same time I weighed the, the day before. Um, and we'll stick with that. And I don't have to do a steak day to day. Thank goodness, because it's New Year's Eve. And I'm not going to drink tonight. I have feel no urge to drink at all. Uh, even, you know, when I have fattening things or drink, I get gases now or something. Or, Something funny in my stomach. So I don't feel the urge to do that. I'm just going to party with my friends and try to eat protocol foods. Phase three, phase three foods, which is really easy. In fact, when I'm at a restaurant, I'm surprised at how many things I can eat at a restaurant without gaining weight. Of course, the cheesecake's not one of them, but everything else I was able to eat, which was awesome. So it's not, you know, P3 is fun. I can even go to a fast food place, and I know that... There's like hidden sugars injected in fast food, you know, but it's not enough to make me gain weight. Now, this is me. doesn't make me gain weight the next day, so that's cool. Also, I wanted to talk about subscribers. I've been getting um, a lot of subscribers lately. I did mention a bunch of them um, earlier on in, in this month. But I think since then, I've had about, let me see, 17 more subscribers since then. And that is so cool. I, I just want to thank all you guys. And also, don't be afraid to comment. I know there are a lot of people out there who are new and maybe you don't want to vlog. But comment on anything I've said or ask any questions because it's not only me who's reading the comments. I know people out there that are more uh, professional HCGers out there, like Mumsy and Jenny and, you know, countless others are reading the comments. People who have really good suggestions, you know. I know that you guys read comments and you answer other people's comments sometimes. So those of you who have never commented and you have questions, go for it. You can just throw a comment out there. And then you have, and the, the more people you have answering your comments instead of just me. And, but I'm still happy to do it, so no, no worries about that. But if you want a wider array of um, answers, recommendations, suggestions, um, commenting would be the way to go, um, other than vlogging, of course. Um, so that's, that's just my message to you guys.